Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Miss Danielson, and today we're getting our ducks in a row. Unfortunately, I'm not here to help you get your life in order, but I can help you get your numbers in order by size. Let's get started. First of all, types of numbers. I noticed that in our textbook, they have a mistake there. They talk about integers and decimal values. And I can understand where the mistake is coming from, but I want to make this clear to you. Integer numbers are not just whole numbers. If you're talking about integer values, which are just whole numbers, you're thinking about natural numbers like 1, 2, 3. Integers could have a positive or negative whole number value. So when I think they meant to say natural numbers or whole number values. But we're talking about getting decimal numbers and whole numbers in order today. And since the textbook seems to want to talk about it, let's get our integers in order as well. Decimal numbers, I don't think I need to explain to you. They represent any fractional value or a value with a fractional part. So for example, 0 0.14 or 14 hundredths. That is taking one whole, cutting it into 100 parts and having 14 of those parts. Or 0 0.08, which is 8 hundredths. Again, is taking one whole, cutting it into 100 parts and keeping eight of those parts. 1.7, however, is one whole, and then it's got a decimal part. It's like a mixed number, one and seven tenths. That is one whole number, and taking another whole number, chopping it into ten parts, and keeping seven of those parts. These are all decimal numbers. Now, ordering integer values by size is when we're ordering values which could be positive or negative from either smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. The first thing you need to notice is the sign. That's the biggest mistake people make all the way up through A-level, is they don't look carefully at the sign. Is it a positive sign or a negative sign? Negative values will always be smaller than positive value, regardless of the absolute value. Absolute values is the next thing we need to consider. An absolute value is a number's distance from zero. So for example, negative two and positive two have the same absolute value. They're both two away from zero on opposite sides. Keeping that in mind, we need to order our integer values accordingly. First of all, our negative values are always the smallest, starting with the highest absolute values, meaning the most negative values, then the lower absolute negative values, so negative values but close to zero, and then we start getting into the positives with the low absolute values, those are positive values that are close to zero, and higher positive absolute values, those are the ones that are further away from zero in the positive direction, so getting bigger and bigger. Let's try an example. List these integer values in ascending order. Now this is important vocabulary for you. You're going to want to write that down. Ascending order means getting bigger, from smallest to largest. So looking at these integer values, we're first going to look at which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Starting with the smallest ones, we're definitely starting with the negatives. So let me color code that for you. We're looking at negative 17, negative 16, and negative 28. Which one is the smallest? So which one is the furthest from zero in the negative direction? That's negative 28. Then comes negative 17. Then comes negative 16. Going from smallest to biggest, you see my less than symbols there. That means negative 28 is less than negative 17, which is less than negative 16. And all of these negative numbers will always be less than any positive number. So let's look at our positive integers now. The smallest one will be the one with the lowest absolute value. So our next number will be 15, then we've got 17, then we've got 23, then we've got 34. Easy, right? I hope so. Let's have a look at ordering decimal values now, starting with just positive numbers. When you're ordering positive numbers, first see which one reaches the highest place value. If both numbers reach as high as the same place value, then compare the digits in that place value and below. For example, here I've got four different numbers and by putting them in this place value table, you can very clearly see which one reaches the highest place value, and that would be A. See the 8 
is in the millionths position, the units of the millions. So this number is 8 million. I get to my decimal point, I say and 7 in the thousandths position. 8 million and 7 thousandths. That is clearly the biggest number. The next biggest number will be the one that reaches the next highest place value. And that will be C. It reaches up to the units of the thousands. So that's 8,000. Get to my decimal point, I say and 7, which is in the hundredths position. That's 8,000 and 7 hundredths. So that's our next biggest number. And our next biggest number, again, look for the highest place value. This one not only reaches the units, while well, this one reaches the tens. So this one's the next biggest one. That's 80 and 7 in the hundredths position. So that's 80 and 7 hundredths. And our smallest number here will be 8 and 7 tenths. So listing those values from largest to smallest, we, we start with the 8 million seven thousandths, then 8,000 seven hundredths, then 80 and seven hundredths, and 8 and seven tenths. Now maybe that was too easy because it was too obvious which of those values reached the higher place value. If both numbers reach as high as the same place value, we need to compare the digits in that place value and below. So here's a slightly more challenging example. Again, I'm using the place value table to try and make it clear and obvious for you. So remember that if you're having trouble, you can do that as well. In this example, I can see that all of these numbers reach up to the units position, but they all have zeros in the units position. So we need to work our way down to the lower place values. That's on our way to the right and compare the digits there. The first three numbers all have values in the tens position other than zero, but obviously four is bigger than three. So these two values will be bigger than A is. Those two values may seem to have the same value and a common mistake that people make is they see this as being 43 and they see this as being 403. Don't make that mistake. Continue looking at the place values. They have the same number of tenths. Go into the hundredths. This one has three hundredths, while this one has zero hundredths. So automatically, I will stop there and say the number B is bigger than number C. To help with this explanation, I could also write these decimal values as fractions, just using the place value name. This first number here is 342, and the last digit is in the thousandths position. That makes it a fraction of 342 thousandths. This next number here, 43, is not 43 thousandths. The last digit is in the hundredths position. That makes this number 43 hundredths. If you want to be able to compare that with the other values, you're going to need to get a denominator of a thousand. That's multiplying both top and bottom of this fraction by 10. So that would be 430 thousandths. Let me show you that on my place value table. I would need to put a zero in the thousandths position to call this some number of thousandths. Next, we've got 403 thousandths. And then we've got 37 thousandths. Looking at my fractions like this with a common denominator, you should clearly be able to see which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest. Now let's put these numbers in order, from largest to smallest. That's descending order. Again, some important vocabulary for you. You want to write that down, descending, largest to smallest. Which one was the largest one? Remember by looking at our place values, we saw that in the tenths position, these three numbers have values in the tenths position, B and C have a 4 in the tenths position, but then we look to the right and we see in the hundredths position, B has got a 3, while C's only got a 0. Don't even look at A and D because they don't have a 4 in the tenths position. The biggest number is going to be B, 43 hundredths, or if you prefer, 430 thousandths. Next biggest will clearly be the value that also has a 4 in the tenths position, and there was only one other one. 
403 thousandths. After that, which other value had some number in the tenths position? D has only got a zero there, while A has got a three in the tenths position. So A will be next, 342 thousandths. And finally, D, 37 thousandths. Okay, now it's your turn. Practice ordering values by size. You're gonna to wanna to write this down. First copy the questions, pause, and take your time to work out the answers. List these integer values in descending order. Remember what descending means? It means going from big to small. Next, list these integer values in ascending order. Always read the instructions carefully. Ascending means from smallest to biggest. Next, list these decimal values in descending order. So biggest to smallest again. And finally, list these decimal values in ascending order. That's from smallest to biggest. Hit pause, copy the questions down, including the instructions so it's very clear whether you're doing descending or ascending. Work out your answers and hit play when you're ready to see them. I hope you had a chance to hit pause because here come your answers. For the first part, listing our integer values from biggest to smallest. Next, listing our integer values from smallest to biggest. Then our decimal values from biggest to smallest. And our decimal values from smallest to biggest. And I hope that you found that this lesson has been a really good reminder for you about your integers, not just what they are, but how to order them, and decimal values, and putting them in order of size, both by ascending order and descending order. If I've left anything at all unclear, please leave me a comment down in the comment section below so I can clarify that for you. Otherwise, keep practicing, take your time, look carefully, check those signs, check those place values. Did you put the right number of zeros? And I'll see you next time.